Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect where in the previous episode we made some plans for our 100% criminally insane facility, naturally with the psych ward DLC included there, which has Dr. Slugworth as our warden and the direwolves as our guard unit. So, interesting decision there. Obviously we've also gone with the lunar landscape just to make something a little bit different. This is the initial idea and set of plans that we've come up with. So we have our three wings, obviously these will be padded cells, a total capacity of at the moment moment at least of 60 prisoners but we do plan on extending it to the left we have our decentralized um, canteens in the center of each of these cell blocks which does ask, well, it does uh, ask some questions really on how much that will affect the security but that's sort of what we'll find out hopefully in terms of contraband, we won't get a lot flung in because of where we've placed these things, although you never truly know. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see how we get on there. We also have our kitchen on the bottom right. We have visitation. We have storage. We have actually quite a decent amount of uh, things planned off. So hopefully this should be pretty much what we will be starting and ending with. But we'll see as we progress on. Obviously we will make changes as and when uh, we need to. So let's go ahead and crack on with some building. This will be like a lot of the series, just the sort of start of this. We won't be getting prisoners for quite some time. The first thing we have to do is plan off the walls. So we have many, many walls we can use now. We've got white wall, tile wall, art deco, etc. I'm not going to read them all out. We are probably, in fact, certainly going to go with the wall Utani, which is the sort of metal looking one so we're going to place that there so clicky clicky draggy draggy and we will start construction of the facility so we're going to build the office and staff room first because that will allow us to get this administration center done which after hiring an account will accountant which will allow us then to go ahead and get some uh, well, staff uh, room can go there staff door rather uh, yes and go ahead and get the extra grand so then we'll get short and long term investment let's go to max speed and we can see the workers going to crack on the idea is to have the lunar landscape as best we can although to be fair there won't be much left because all of this is indoors so it's got foundations on there all of this will be like walkways so it's only going to be this that's going to be really the lunar landscape so it's sort of pointless on the in that front anyway let's go over to our quick build and over to the office we're going to go ahead and go for the wall where is it it is utani there rotate that around and we'll have one two three four five and then six and there we are this may even auto light it but by the look of it they have actually removed the light that was in there so that's actually a good thing at this stage there's the utani wall there our sort of sci-fi looking one we will be using like your concretes and your metals and all of that sort of stuff that's uh, the idea there so officers are in i'm going to hire ourselves a warden which is slugworth they will place themselves in the central office that is totally fine and doesn't look like they've put any lights in here whatsoever so we are going to Put some in ourselves so lighting will just go right above actually no let's not put it right above there because it means that changing it could cause some issues if we need to which we probably don't but there you are that's now in and then we'll unpause it and we'll go over to our bureaucracy we're going to unlock finance we're going to unlock security we're going to unlock psychology health maintenance just get it gone get it done get it sorted anyway that's now getting planned off let's go over to here foundations more and then wall uh, the utani once again and we're going to place this right across like so so quite a bit of money we're spending here but we're spending it in the right place i believe over to the intake here and this is just going to be a large jail door we do have things like uh, gray stripes and all of that sort of stuff we are not going to use any of that we'll place that in there we will not place that one in there. And as you can see, it is raining. However, we really don't care at this stage because... Let me just force... Actually, we won't force open that door. I don't think we need to. Um, yes, at this stage, we don't need to worry about the cold because things like the research and the bureaucracy staff as well as the workers don't have those needs. But that's something that I have actually missed out on... Uh, these areas so I'm gonna have to sort that out this is something I just totally just massive oversight on my part and um, what I'm gonna do is actually do that on the top and bottom and each one of these will have a water boiler in it I did when I finished the episode uh, 
the last episode, I went, I just immediately after I'd finished, I thought, I, I once again have not thought about the heating requirements. Uh, so each of these will have their own um, radiator in. This will be the uh, water boiler. Now we'll connect it all down there. Up the top here, going to be more difficult, but because of where these are, we can always spur it off from there. So that should be fine. Um, that should be fine, but we'll see how we get on there. Let's go over to our walls and doors, over to the wall Utani once again, and we will place in all of these. Now, this is going to be our... Well, this is going to be, I think... In fact, I'm fairly confident it's going to be our infirmary but we'll see if that changes over to staff door there we're going to put a staff door in there staff door in there this will be a i mean technically it'll be a visitor door which will go there let's go back over to the walls and put in the utani walls across there we will have to put all of the usual uh, stuff in there but we'll change that up as we need to we're going to go over to the large jail door place that in there this room, we can see someone is stuck, which is problematic. So we're going to place a door there, place a staff door in there, and that should be fine. It means that uh, we just need to put the power in. So over to power station, we'll place a power station in there. Run capacitors down and then across. Place our water pump in there, and then finally we'll place a water boiler in there because we might need one that is now all connected up we ha need to hire an accountant so we'll do just that we'll hire one foreman and we'll hire one accountant and there is one of the grants done but that allows us to go to bureaucracy we'll go for extra grant we will go from from maintenance we'll go with groundskeeping cleaning and prison labor because there will be a grant in here for uh where is it we'll go for short-term investment start getting actually no cancel short-term investment a long-term investment get that going because it does take quite a while to finish but that's fine the next one will be hmm not too sure but once we've got extra grant unlocked we've got things like prison maintenance and stuff like that but that requires basic detention center to be done so we'll see how we get on anyway stuff is being researched that's fine there's a short-term investment that we've got going with so that's fine so let's start running some electrical cable so we'll go over to utilities electrical cable the electrical cable will run straight across like so and it will run into these areas here that should probably do it quite nicely we will do the same for a large pipe the large pipe will come out and then it will go up and then right across because these will basically drop down for each of them we're going to run it down and across as well but we just we don't need to do that at this stage and that will have a large pipe in like so just to uh, start heating things up that is now fine right so we are looking at the basic detention center so that is something that we could possibly go ahead and do um is it is it i'm questioning myself now is it something that we can do now holding cell shower yard kitchen canteen at least two guards it is something we could probably do, but we'll have to be very clever about it. Let's go over to the walls here and then the Utani walls. We're going to run a wall around the outside like so. And then right down the bottom here, obviously this is going to cost a lot of money. In fact, I've realised that there's no way with the current funds that we're going to be able to get that done. Over to the uh, bureaucracy. Bank loan is only 500. Luckily we had 600. Uh, so that is fine. We'll be able to get a bit of a bank loan to progress on the short-term investment has got just over two days remaining so it's not too much of an issue uh, in terms of the other stuff we need to go to rooms and then to the where is it yard we'll place temporarily probably these yards here by the way you might notice i did place the utani wall around the outside that's because that's what that'll be because this is going to be a fence with an open area this is all closed off so that's why we've done it that way i also didn't want to use the i didn't want to use the fencing for two reasons firstly when you place it the default texture on it is the horrible dirt texture which is not going to work for the lunar landscape that we've got here secondly you can climb over it <clears throat> excuse me we've seen that in the previous series if you have strength um you can just climb straight over it. i think that is actually the case for brick walls as well and other things but uh no we're not going to have that bad wall same thing you can see through it but uh it doesn't copy 
what you have over there. There's a dingling noise, that means some bureaucracy has been completed. So we've unlocked, with the Warden, Security, Psychology, Health, Maintenance and Finance. Finance has got extra grant and the bank loan. Maintenance has finished groundskeeping, cleaning and prison labour. So that's all sorted. So as soon as we get... Uh, these done and the basic detention center done as well we will be able to get that prison maintenance and pretty much get it done in one shot bank loan we will increase uh, just a little bit all we're trying to do at this stage is get our credit rating up and that will allow us if assuming we don't could put it too high because if you're on negative daily cash flow it will reduce it but having it in this stage allows us to increase our credit rating and then we might be able to just get a straight 25 grand and go for it there anyway so we have the basic detention center to do so we need to build several things which we will do now so let's go over to rooms and to the uh where is it holding cell we'll place the holding cell in there which is ah minimum size of five by five so actually there will be the best place for it it needs a toilet and a bench so we will place that so one bench in there and then one toilet that is now a legitimate room we need a shower so we'll go up here and we'll place a shower in there like so a shower requires only a shower head which we will place right in the center there that is another one of those. We require a kitchen and a canteen. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, kitchen and canteen, a little bit more difficult, but is possible. So we'll go over here. Rooms. Obviously, this is going to be the canteen and this is going to be the kitchen. So that's where we would place it ideally. But, well, we're not in ideal world. So kitchen, canteen. There we go. And the minimum things for this is cooker, bridge, sink. Over in the canteen, it is serving table. And bench. And was that someone saying meow as they go past there? Meow. <laughs> oh, they're just like whistling and... That sort of thing. I'm sure. I'm sure that guy said meow as it went past. <laughs> anyway, there's our kitchen and canteen done. We need two guards, two cooks, and a yard. Well, yard, yard, yarp. One yard, and we need two guards and two cooks. There's a bank loan increased. Two guards. One, two. Two cooks. Basic detention centre done. Straight over to our bit here. Prison maintenance. Unpause it. Hire two janitors. One, two. One gardener. There's that one done. Up to 23 grand now. Going to get cell block A. And then promptly reduce our bank loan once again. Still got a bank loan though, so still increasing that uh, that credit rating. You see it's up to 3.3 now from the 1. Going over to staff, fire 1, 2 guards, and fire all of the staff that we've recently hired. Because quite frankly, it's normally about 5 days where it uh, takes to break even. If we have them longer than that, you'll end up losing money. If you have them uh, less, then you're, you're losing it if you've uh, got rid of them. We will almost certainly not have prisoners uh, hang on, I need to go down to a dismantle object, we'll almost certainly not be having prisoners in the next five days, so that's why we've done that one could argue quite successfully that we are playing the rules and not the spirit of the uh, grants I would argue mm, probably not even against that I would say yeah, that's exactly what we're doing um, but then again we are working within the confines of what the game has to offer no mods no unlocked everything from research you could do that right at the start that is actually quite a decent thing with obviously the new uh, new options there you can just turn it on you unlock everything from bureaucracy straight away that's actually quite a decent one i'm just like to do it this way for the extra challenge and uh, we get some interesting things like that where we have to mess around and such and um interesting that that light isn't powered up see that Never seen that before. Another glitch, I believe. Because of this, because of these uh, power cables, they don't actually uh, 
have light around them. They don't have power around them, and because they're not connected up to anything, technically that light can't be connected up either. But dismantling the utility will then work, because it then allows this to do the little connections for the light. Strange. Right, over to this centre section. We're going to go over to rooms and then reception and place reception in like so. We will have all of the usual stuff that is required. We'll have tables which will go along either side which we'll probably place like so. Bit of a gap in the middle for a bin. I do think a bin in here is uh, worth it. We need an office desk and a chair so we'll place the office desk so pretty much in the front here we'll place a chair in the back there and that's that pretty much done we will run an electrical cable down I'm gonna run it down there because then we'll run it into there we'll run it into there and into there and that should connect all of that up some of this might require retrofitting later on, but that's not too much of a problem. We now have that short-term investment done. So we have many options. Health and well-being, and visitation rights, security procedure certification, but that requires hiring guards, climatization, no, reform through education initiative, no, staff well-being. Um, that's quite an easy one to do. I think in this particular case, inmate health and well-being is the way forward because we've pretty much got the majority of that done anyway. Let's go over to the infirmary, place the infirmary. Morg will go in there like so. Obviously, I haven't put the flooring in. I'm not going to be placing the flooring in at this stage. It just will cost too much. So that's how it is. And let's go ahead and place the stuff in the infirmary. So one, two, three... Four medical beds. I might as well furnish them a little bit more than we usually do. There we go. There's that infirmary. We do need a psychologist. There's one psychologist, which will go at their office. Two doctors. One, two. There's that grant done. Once again, going over to staff. Getting rid of those guards. We're back to 58 grand. Go back to grants. We have lots of stuff we can go for. I'm going to go for criminally insane wing which a uh, build wing slash cell block for criminally insane with padded cells. So, foundations, more, auto light is on, wall utani, 30, uh, 13 grand for that, and we're going to go on this side too, like that. Requires an entrance there, and I guess the entrance, actually I'll cancel that and do that, and that shouldn't, I hope, Oh, no, it might delete the wall. It might de it might delete the wall, so I'll do that and just put up and shut up. I'll place a... It doesn't really matter. We do need a staff door to go out here, but I'm thinking staff door in there. And then... Ah, this will actually work out quite well. Then a jail door... Oh, it's actually done it. Doesn't matter. Perfect. Uh, we'll place a jail door there. No, we won't. We don't need it. We don't need it. Visitor door will go in there. Uh, walls. Once again, the Utani walls. Run down. This wall won't exist eventually. So that one is a kitchen, which I'm concerned is oversized. I'll probably shrink it down. Almost certainly, in fact, shrink it down to something like that and then have this as something else. What it's going to be, haven't yet decided. Most likely, it'll be like a laundry room or something. Something like that. Anyway, this requires an entrance, which we will promptly install. We'll have a large jail door, which will go on the left and on the right there. What bugs me is that it doesn't remove these bits of planning here. Don't know why it doesn't. That is that now in, and we can see that it... Oh, hang on. Did I turn auto light on? No, auto light is on. There you go. It's now auto lit it, and actually... Oh, the lights up here are perfect. Lights down there, not so much. So, let us go to... Walls. Utani wall. I'm going to build both of these. Rooms, padded cell, which you can see changes the 
side of that, the internal. This will have padded flooring in. So I'll clone that, like so. And we'll probably have slack off for the walkways. Let's um, let's let's test that. What's it look like? I can't really tell at the moment because of the lack of lighting. Let's run that down to there. See what that looks like. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Don't mind that at all. Okay, so we will have the doors. No padded doors, right? No, just jail door. Jail door either side. In terms of the... In terms of... Well, we'll have the toilet and such. We're going to have... I don't like it on the edge there. I'd much prefer it to be here. That's the ideal place for it. But it's, this is sort of forced our hand. So there and there. I could technically just build one of these. I don't need to build both, but I am. Bed on either side. Oh, I just want to rotate the bed like that. Um, no, bed's in there. That's fine. Shower head. Like so. The plan called for uh, the things adjacent. But you don't need it. You, you don't need to do that. So, that's now in. It is simply a case of going to quick build, cloning. I'm selecting it all. Not that I need to, you understand. Huh. I guess it's best to do that. And then this side too. And we can rotate it to do this side as well. And then flip it. And there you go. That should be all in. And hopefully it will work. <laughs> we need water pipe. That's now in. Large water pipe to run down. To then run across. I am spending a lot of money here. I don't mind. Uh, we've got long-term investment to be done shortly. Uh, less than two days. And cell block A. Raising, raise the prisoner capacity to 15. Well, we've already planned off 20. And we've already afforded 20. So, don't really have a problem there. Over to rooms. To the canteen. Placing the canteen in like so. Not yet furnishing it. But, I guess that shouldn't be too much of a difficult task. 20 grand grant completion for cell block A. I'm going to pick up cell block B. Credit rating is currently 10.0. That's the maximum rating you can have. Maximum loan is 250,000. So I've taken that bank loan to zero. We don't need it at all. So that's now fine. Running in the pipe work once again. In like so. <coughs> Excuse me once again. And water boilers. One. Two. We will need a... Ah, now this is... This is a good question. I could have a door there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to completely brick it off. And instead... Have a staff door... There. On the outside... Um, gonna go over to micromanagement, prison policy. We're gonna unlock deployment intelligence and patrols. We're gonna unlock the orderly because we're gonna need them. We'll go for the education as well. That will require the hiring of a chief, like so. That's now fine. We will have to run the electrical cable in a little bit further, so let's do that. We'll run it to there. We'll then run it up this side, like so, to that location because that's where we're going to have the metal detectors on either side also want to remove those little sections there and i think we'll put in the flooring to make this look at least decent salako flooring all the way to there we'll have the same on that section and in here this will all be walkway 
I'm very tempted to leave it at Luna. Walk speed normal outdoor only, whereas the concrete is walk speed fast. It's a shame that. It is a bit of a shame. So there we go. Maybe I will leave the outside as Luna. I don't know. I haven't yet decided. Uh, what I have decided is that I really don't want to have to look at all of that because we know that's going to be walkway and it's just a little bit better. Oh, I'll not. Mm, no, I'll not. I'll not get rid of the other ones. So these uh, are in need of some water connections. So we'll do that. There's the pipe work in there. And we now should be able to go over to... Oh, we can't. Oh, no, we can. Logistics, temperature. You can see that the temperature is, for some reason, quite warm in these locations. It's always going to be warm in there because of the boiler. Ambient temperature through the walls is fine. In these areas, not so much. So what we'll do... You see, that's, that's radiating there. We're going to go over to radiators. I'm going to place the radiator. That's a footbridge. That's another footbridge. Radiator. We'll place the radiator at the at the foot of the bed, like so, and then we will connect it up with the hot water pipe, and we'll see. Oh, we also need to run it down there for the shower. That's fine. No problem whatsoever. We'll see what that's like. There is a... Looks to be the long-term investment completed. We are going to go with... The, that's not grand. That's just me making a stupid noise. I was going to say visitation rights, but I'm not too sure. Staff well-being initiative. Because the bottom one's always true when there's no prisoners. This is going to be a staff room anyway, so that'll be easy. And we need to get at least five guards without assigned duties. So that should be fine too. So I'm just waiting for them to place in the pipe work to see what that is like. Helps if the commentator actually places the pipe properly. So that's now in. Intelligence quick burn. Uh, no, sorry. Uh, logistics temperature. Brilliant. That's exactly what I wanted. The temperature here is 20 degrees. And it is going outside as well. No, that's not the right term. It's going into the corridor to heat up the corridor. Perfect. Obviously, it's not the case with the canteen there. That's not a problem. We can very easily fix that by... Putting in a radiator. Most likely there and there. And then we just keep running the hot water. Like that. Across. Up to there. And that can run down to there. And that should be fully sorted. You can see the temperature. Uh, sorry, the level of the power station is on about a third of its max capacity. We still have more capacitors to place in. So that's all right. In reality, that water boiler we probably won't need to use. Um, everything else will come off these, including from the kitchen. So I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna dismantle that boiler. Although it is keeping things warm around here. Hmm. I might reverse that decision. We'll see. Over to temperature, nice and toasty in there. That's perfectly fine. Let's sort this out. So serving tables, one either side, like so. Over to the benches. We could place it that way. I'm going to do that. One, two, three, four. I know it's right up against the wall, but it has no no effect. There's no issues with it being like that. Actually, I've just thought of something. Get rid of that. We could... Hmm... Mantle these. Ooh. See, we have this this bit here, either side. Like a gap here, which we don't really have any purpose for. What if we use table small? Have one there. Uh, one there and one there. And we have like a little walkway down the centre. Let's see what that looks like.
I quite like that. I think that's different from what we've done, and it has the same capacity. Yeah, we're going to go with that. We're going to go with that just because it's different, and I quite like it. Okay. Bench small. One, two, three, four. Table small. There we are. It also means that if we need to, we can put some more in here. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. So we don't have the maximum number of tables needed. But if we do that, then we do. Do I like the look of it? Um, no is the short answer. <laughs> I don't like the look of it. But. Is there another solution? I could remove these benches here. That's a weird delay there. Remove those. What's that look like? It's... Uh, it's not doing anything for me. I'm also keenly aware that we haven't managed to place in any... Phone booths, which is what we normally place in and around here. Okay, I'll think on that one. I will have a think on that one because, well, at the moment, don't, not really too sure about that. Going to go to staff and janitor. I know we fired one earlier, but um, quite honestly, we need them to move some stuff around and to clean this place. It is filthy. So, we have three grants on the grow. Uh, grow? That's a word. It is a word, certainly, but not the right word. We have three... Three plants on the go. No, that's wrong as well. We have three grants on the go. <laughs> we have criminal insane wing. Half of it's done. We need to build the psychiatrist's office and get these prisoners. Cell block B to increase our capacity to 50 and staff wellbeing initiative to get a staff room and at least five guards without assigned duties. Staff room is quite easy. It is that. And then we just furnish it. But we will be doing that next episode. I'm very happy with what we've accomplished. We've actually got a lot more built than A, we normally do, and B, that I actually thought we would, with it being a uh, different design to something we've done, with it being an unknown quantity, with it having um, the requirement for the heating. I didn't actually think we'd get where we are now, but it has worked, and we now have padded cells, capacity of 20 and overall quite happy next episode we will crack on and go ahead and continue building most likely kitchen finish off the canteen go for that staff well-being initiative and honestly we're probably closer to getting prisoners than what i expected Maybe not the next episode, but certainly the one after. We will see how we get on. As always, if you have enjoyed the video and the series thus far, comments in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and generic partings.